my name is Jacqueline and I'm from the Microsoft Make Code team. And I'm here with Cyan and Sage. And we're here to show you some really fun coding activities that you can do with your kids or your students for Computer Science Education Week this year. And we're going to be using a tool called Make Code Arcade. Whoop, whoop. Can you guys tell me what is Make Code Arcade? Make Code Arcade is a super duper 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 fun webs uh, website <laughs> okay. uh, um, that teaches kids how to code. Yeah, and what do you what do you make with Make Code Arcade? Video games. That's right. So you can code your very own arcade retro style video games, and then you can also share them with friends and download them onto little handheld game devices. Call Meowbit. That's right. Do you, where's your Meowbit? Oh, uh, but they look like this. So you can plug these devices into your computer, download the games that you've coded, and then um, away you go. You can just play with play on these uh, on these devices. So let's go ahead and get started. We've compiled a list of some fun activities to do for Hour of Code this year, and you can find them all at aka.ms/arcadehoc. So are we ready to? To dive in, we ready to do some coding? Yeah! Yeah? Yeah! Uh -huh. Coding! Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, go to aka.ms slash arcade hoc. And this will take us to the Hour of Code page. Um, and on this page, you can see we've got three cool activities you can do. They are play, design, and code. That's right. So um, for the first one, this gameplay activity um, is a game called As Fidel Follows Directions. So Sage, can you help us out here and tell us a little bit about what this game is? Sure. So what does it what does it do? Who's Asphodel? Oh uh, well, Asphodel is a witch that you can see. Um, mm hmm. And you have to help her navigate through a maze. Right? Yes. And there are some directions. Mm hmm. Uh, to help her. Yeah. Um, to the trophy, you have to press A or the space bar on your uh, keyboard. Keyboard. Um, to make your cursor pick up mm -hmm. the arrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, to move it, you press uh, the buttons up, down, left, and right. Mm -hmm. um, and you also uh, press the space bar or A to put it down, too. Mm -hmm. For B, you or the enter key, you, that makes Asphodel move. Like, yeah. mom just... Like, I just, I just press yeah. button B, and she's just going straight up. That doesn't look great, right? Yeah. So, so we have to um, move the arrow. Okay, so I'm pressing button A or the space bar to drop to pick up and drop off the arrows. So then she hits the arrow and then she gets to her trophy. Yeah. Great. Okay, and now there's multiple levels, right? Yeah. So, and they get a little bit harder. So we don't have time for all of them, but yeah. we can show you a uh, the a first few. two. Yeah, so was that right? Um, no, that wasn't right. No, since you have to put it there. You're right yeah. in front. Okay, and then so then what happens? To... And then, and then oh you dear. still have to okay, uh, do the other arrow. Move this arrow and put it like right here, you yeah. think? Okay, so then she hits both arrows and gets to the trophy. Hooray! And yeah. You can see the mazes start to get a little bit more challenging, right? So um, she has to move to the right, she has to move down, and then we have to get arrows to move her to the left over here. Notice how you can go like outside of the... Um... Yeah, makes it easier, right? So you can yeah. move the cursor outside of the maze, but Asphodel can't go outside. So then she goes up, she goes right, she goes down, she goes to the left, and then she goes up and makes it to the trophy! Hooray! Asphodel! All right, now the levels do get increasingly more difficult. There's keys and gates and all sorts of things Yeah, here. and paint, which and, she can like mm -hmm. dye her uh, hat. She can dye her hat. And to that get allows her, yeah, to get through a red hat gate or a blue mm -hmm. hat gate. 
Now, the um, second activity is this design game, right? Um, and so this, you can actually draw your own game characters. And I wasn't playing. Um, okay. No <laughs> so this is a tutorial. You start off with an existing game. Uh, and then you basically just customize it, right? So this background image, Cyan, can you tell us what this is, this artwork is? Party in space! <laughs> okay, so your game takes place in outer space. Yeah. Where they're having a party. Yeah. Okay. And what are all these like colored things are? Confetti. It's confetti, okay, I see. And then um, your sprite, this little sprite guy, what is this? It's um a purp it's a purple space worm. It's a purple space worm. All right, so the next step we need to change this projectile from a clover to something else. So we're gonna erase this clover here that was here before. Clover be gone. Clover be gone. And then Cyan, what are you gonna draw or design here that will be something that your space worm wants are to do? Are there spaceships? Oh, I know, I know what I'm mm. gonna do. Okay, guys, so the white is mm. going to be, it'll show out because there's. Because it's in outer space. Because there's no other white. Yep. Okay. All right, um, worm will be the one that, that's good. All right. So now in our game here, if we do full screen, we've got our little worm and um, she or he is gonna go collect these little cool dance moves to earn points. So there's more things you can do in this tutorial um, to design your very own arcade game. And the last activity is a coding tutorial. So um, let's go ahead and look at the shark attack code tutorial. Shark attack. So this is, in this tutorial, it actually gives you step-by-step -step instructions for what to do. So Shark Attack is an underwater game. So we're gonna go ahead and set the background color. Uh, and you think we should do it blue color? Oh, yes, more like over this a thousand times. Teal. Teal color, okay. And we need to find a sprite. That would and be so kind of like a metallic color. We're gonna add a sprite block to our code. And we're gonna go to gallery, we're gonna go to gallery. we don't have the time to actually hand make this. Draw it, yep. Yeah. And we've decided we're going to do a Nemo fish. We're gonna do a clownfish, what do you think? Well, maybe angel fish. Angel fish this time? What yeah. do you think? Yeah, okay. Angel fish. Angel fish as our sprite. And then we're gonna and, have the, um, and then what next? We're going to have the fish. Move when we press the buttons. <laughs> That's right. Move my sprite with buttons. I have the fish. So I need now to it's uh, the fish can move. But we also have to make a boundary, right? Since Yeah, because uh, look, the, the fish can move yeah. straight off the screen. So we need to set a property on this sprite yeah. that says um, fish, you need to stay in yeah. the aquarium. And so. uh, Sooner or later, there's going to be a shark attacking this fish. That's right. And this fish has to move like up and down and avoid yeah. the shark. Yeah, avoid the shark. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. So, um, but unfortunately, we don't have time to go through the entire yes. tutorial. But uh, highly encourage you to. <laughs> All right. Now, for educators and teachers out there, there is a page for educators. Um, I didn't know that. Yep. That has more information about learning outcomes. Um, for all of these activities and look the, envelope envelope I think those are gates oh yeah those, those are, are oh. those are switches so if you're What's interested in understanding what the computer science concepts that the kids will be learning are um, come to this what, page what, what, there's also what, some tips for facilitation what, what, what. as well as additional resources for educators uh, if kids get done early with these three activities, there are additional... Which they probably will, because kids are awesome. <laughs> There's Wonder Woman Maze, mm -hmm. NFL Football, Chase a Pizza, Lemon, Lemon Leak, Leak Gala, Gala, Galga, and Catch, Cat Catch the Clovers. That's right. And then also more links to explore more about Make Code here. All right. Because well, Arcade is awesome and Make Code is awesome. <laughs> 
So once you're done with all of your Hour of Code activities, you can also print out a certificate for Hour of Code. We have our own. So you guys want to show off the certificates that you got. <laughs> That's right, so you guys each earned these Hour of Code certificates for going through all of the activities. Congratulations. So thanks so much for joining us, walking through uh, these hour, Make Code Arcade Hour of Code. Um, and you guys wanna say anything else? Um, bye! Yeah, bye! <laughs> all right, well happy coding, and best of luck. awesome. <laughs> <laughs>